Welcome all. Today I'm going to tell you about the cucumber and how you can use the cucumber with TestNG. So uh, before uh, in the previous video, you have seen that I have used the cucumber with JUnit. Okay. So let's start that how you can use the cucumber with TestNG. So uh, in the previous video, I have created this project for you. And currently I have just renamed it cucumber with JUnit so that you can understand what we have done for the uh, J unit in the Cucumber. So first file in the Cucumber was this one, a login feature file where we have created a feature. Then we have created a scenario and we have used the outline uh, that I've also told you in the previous video that if you want to use the data driven testing, you can use the scenario outline keyword. Okay. Then we have defined these steps and this was the data for the this data driven testing. Second, uh, uh, you can see important file was the login steps and this login step was that this is actually uh, contains the step definitions of all the steps here like for each and every step here we have defined the definitions here okay now the third important file was runner.java this was the main file and using this file when you run your automation it used the j unit integration and how it was using the j in uh, j unit integration due to these two settings these uh, due to these two annotations okay so this annotation you can see if you go and check uh, the uh, classes related to these two annotation like run with and cucumber so these two things two classes run with and cucumber option they are coming from the package cucumber.api you can see here okay these are coming from the cucumber api in the same way if you go to the login step and you will see whatever annotation i've used it at the rate given at the rate when and then they are also coming from the this Cucumber API. These are coming from the jar, uh, which I have already used in my JUnit, that is Cucumber API. So now the first thing, if you want to convert, if you want to convert your integration from JUnit to TestNG. So first of all, you have to remove all the JUnit related things. And instead of that, you have to use the TestNG related classes and things okay so how you are going to perform it let me show you for this purpose first of all what you have to do i have to remove all the test ng related things okay so i'm going to do one thing first of all i will go to my project and go to the build path and i will remove all the i will remove all the da, 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 da. i will remove all the previous jars so let me remove all the jars whether it is related to the selenium or so i'm going to use only one jar that is java other than java i'm going to read all the jars so now all the jars are deleted okay here you can say all the jars are deleted now this contains my java step definition all that so i have removed all the jars second things i am going to remove this one okay because this is uh, related to the this is related to the testng you can see this one okay so i'm going to remove this jar i don't need this setting for uh cucumber with testng integration i'm deleting it Okay, so same time, let me do one thing. I'm going to delete all these imports. I'm going, no, I don't want to use these jars. Okay, and same thing, I will go to the login step. So all the jars, which is using this Cucumber API, I'm going to remove it. So it will give the error. Don't worry about that. Okay, I've deleted it. Now, there's no jar exist in my project. So now I have to add new jars which is related to the you can say i'm going to add the jars for selenium i'm going to add the jars for cucumber but this time the cucumber jars will be different for the test ng integration okay for j unit uh jars are different and for test ng integration jars are different so there are so many jars so instead of uh downloading those jars manually from the internet i am going to uh convert this project in the maven and what is the benefit when I will convert this project into the Maven instead of downloading the jars manually, I will just use the dependency part so that I don't need to just download the jar manually. So how you can convert it? That is important. Right click and then you say configure convert to Maven. So in convert to Maven, this window will open. So what is group ID? What is artifact ID? If you want to understand this thing, you can watch my another video on my channel advantage of May one. So let me click on finish. So when you click on uh, finish, it will generate a pom dot pom dot XML file. Uh, so pom dot XML file is actually the controlling file of the Maven. 
so now whenever any jar which you want to use in the project you don't need to download it manually you have to just give the dependency tags in your project so i have already you can say kept uh, all the dependency data tags here that i'm going to add here so here you can say this one again i'm saying that if you have any doubt related to the uh maven you can watch my that video and this things will be clear that what is dependency and why we use the maven okay so let me save it now you can see so it will and now it has downloaded all the jars here so now again i will go to the one by one section in the render now you can see uh i want to use this cucumber option now click on this so you can see this time it is giving the option cucumber options io cucumber so now you can say the old jar is removed. Now, which jar you have to use? IO Cucumber Descent. This jar is already, you can say, I have defined in Comrade XML. You want to see this one, Cucumber. So this jar is very important that I've, instead of downloading it manually, I've just provided this in the, this Comrade So you can see, check all the jars which I've included. Like this is Cucumber Java. This is Selenium. Uh, this is TestNG. This is Cucumber. Test ng this is hanker. so all these jars we have to add. okay now after that you can see uh in the cucumber section i've used it second thing what you have to do second thing is that if you want to integrate the test ng with cucumber you have to extend your ex exec uh, existing runner file you have to extend it with abstract test ng cucumber test this is a class which is available again in the you can say io cucumber test ng package so you have to import it Okay, now let me see. Okay, so now you can say, okay, let me remove this thing. I'm not using this remove. Uh, you can say run this. I've already removed the test. So, so these are the, you can say, changes you have to make in your runner file. Now you can say, when this runner file run, it will not use the J unit setting. It will use the, it will use the test engine because I have replaced my, I've changed my jar related to the test. Engine. Second thing you have to go in the steps. And now I told you, that you have removed old, uh, you can say old jars here. So now you have to use the new jars. What are the new jars? You have to use this one. Uh, given this one, IO Cucumber, this one. So let me run it this one. And for each every, let me go to here. This one. And now you go and click on this. Okay. So now you can see here. Okay, you see here, you can see here. Control S. Now you can say, now they are using the jars. So you can say, wherever I was using the old jars, I'm using the reference of old jar. I've used the new jars, io.cucumber. Okay. And again, I'm showing you, this is coming from this, this jar. Okay. So this is done. So you have removed all the dependent jar. Now you can see, now you can, whenever you want to run, you can run it from runner. You can see it is right click, run as, and you are getting the option, run as text in. Okay, so when you run it, it will run. But I know that a uh, few person will say uh, uh, that uh, when you want to run any test ng related uh, test cases, you should have a test ng file for that. So yeah, you can run it you, with the help of this one, run as test ng test. You can say, let me run it and show you that it is running fine or not. So uh, if you want to run it, uh, you can run it from hit also. And you can run with the help of, you can run with the help of your, uh, you can say uh, test and example also. So first of all, let me show you that how you can run it from here. So let me do one thing. I have not shared my entire screen. So let me share the entire screen so that you can see the execution. Now you can see, I will right click, run as, run as test and test. So now just see it is running fine or not. So it has opened the first window, first test case running, and second test it is running. Right, so it is running fine with the help of this class. Now you can see, if you want to see here, you can see easily that in the result of this is the tab for the test engine, and you can see it is running fine. Okay, now I have directly run this file with the help of right click run as test engine. If you want to create a proper test engine XML file, uh, for that I can also give you the, uh, you can say uh, idea, or you can say give you a trick that how you can create a test engine XML file. Uh, with the help of you can say a wizard something like that just click on your runner file right click and you can say test ng and say convert to test ng when you say convert to test ng it will automatically create a 
uh, testng file for you. Let me click on finish. Now what you have to do, this is your testng file and in your testng file, what you can do, you can uh, add, a, you can say class here. There's a tag that is called classes, uh, CLA SS classes tag. And under the classes tag, you can use a class tag. CLA SS class. Okay, this one and here you have to give the name of your class. So I will give the name of, what is the name of this class, okay? So let me give the name of this class. So this is my package. So you have to give the complete name. You know that uh, package name dot and the name of the class is. So actually, this is the class which is uh, which is running your test case. Okay, you using the test engine indications. I've run this one. Now, if you want to run your test engine, you can write with the help of this test engine file. Also, right click, run as test engine suit. Now, see it is running fine or not. Now, again, it is running. So now you can see this is the first test case it is running. Now it is running the second test case. So in this way, actually, I have shown you that if you want to run it uh, with the help of testng exam file, you have to just create a testng file. You can see it is still running. Okay, I have created this. Now, if you want to run uh, the uh, this thing with the help of Maven also, you can run with the help of Maven also. In the Maven, what you have to do, you have to just give the path of this testng file in the pom.xml you can run it and that i that uh, i have already uh, you can say uh, described properly that how you can run the uh, maven project in my uh, that maven uh, video okay so this is the you can say integration point and what is the benefit here what you have learned that you can easily tell to your interviewer that actually what changes we have to made if you want to uh, use the test ng integration in cucumber instead of you, you can see it Okay, so now if you have uh, liked this video, you can also click on that like button. And if you have liked the content of my video, you can put some good comment on the video. And till now, if you have not subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe it. Thank you.